Hello, this is to show in the working of the common board as published by Diago Ruiz, the son of Carlos Ruiz, uh, here in the Idempia Wiki. Uh, he has even made a movie for it, the uh, uh, common board on Idempia, and I'm making another movie on it because it's a bit unclear with a few aspects, for example, demonstrating the um, click and drag of some of these cards, how does it really work and how do you actually configure the colors uh, let me start with configuring the colors, well it's done here as you can see the three different colors here and it's shown on my board and they were possible because in this configuration it measures a numerical integer value that was um, taken against um, the priority SQL here. All right, and why could it? Uh, how, how could you do? You really set up um, all these uh, status? Well, actually, it was just a matter of specifying the target uh, table. Here is the C invoice, and two or oh, one of the programmable um, status uh, uh, framework which is document status circulation status and if you do not use that you can then call upon another type of column and you will pull out the reference value the, di the reference list from uh, uh, the column that's which has reference list um, details uh, which will populate this automatically so you do not populate this just select this in my case I selected this and then run create status and once you click on this all this should be created you don't have to create them there's nothing further for you to do here you can set limits and things like that and all this is generated and then you just call your comment board and any of your invoices um, will be uh, analyzed so in this case uh, I've created some new invoices to demonstrate the power of the comment board in terms of its visuality and usability so if you double click on it you open up the invoice customer that's really cool it's really cool and here I've created something uh, with no invoice line and let's see if I could do anything to it. I try to complete it. It says it's not allowed. Uh, how is it done? Let's look at the code. Um, it's done here. If you change status, you will try to process it. Right? You try to process it. So it is it's simple, innocent move. So it's not going to process it because I have no details here, probably. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to say that I'm. Ordering something and let's save it. Let's uh, come back here and see if I can do it. Still not right. Maybe maybe I need to refresh it. Some I don't think so. But yes, it's completed. That's work. Refreshing is important. So you see, this is really very powerful, very visual, graphical, drag and drop kind of. Uh, visual board for you to control uh, in this case invoices and there's no reason for it not to be used for orders or work orders or manufacturing orders and with the code you can of course uh, expand it right? I'm now running it off from the Eclipse um, environment uh, you could fetch the plugin and deploy it uh, plug and play right here by taking it from uh, the job file here so um, what else am I going to show yeah I think I'd, I'd like to explain something also about how do you uh, get the uh, information out on the board you can see here I have the uh, name of the business partner uh, this very very cool because the script to do it is just see business partner dot name now oh, that that is really fantastic because that means you can pull out object in this script.
let it finish out something. Okay, so here's it. Um, we're emphasizing further the value of this contribution by the son of the uh, Carlos Ruiz himself, our top guy in our project, Diego Ruiz. Yes, I met him. Nice guy in Bogota, Colombia. Okay, then, bye bye.